Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day as always. Today I have a very important vlog that I want to talk to you guys about um, on the male side of breeding uh, ball pythons. You guys know that I've messed up plenty of times always thinking that I had enough males when when the season comes I never had enough males. And, you know, 2019, 2020, 2021. It's like even though I always thought I did, dude, I, I never ended up having them and they ended up costing me a lot more money down the line when they became adults because I needed adults, not hatchlings. And yeah, I want to talk to you guys about it and then show you guys some of my new um, uh, snakes that I have over here. Well, not new, but as you guys know, we did a big old, um, what's it called? Um, hey, we renovated this whole place. I had a lot of my holdbacks on this rack. I had it mixed up with males and females, but now we're trying to get all the males into this, then these two racks because this right here is gonna, well, this one's always been all males. And now we're trying to load this one up with all males. So we're getting all of our things put together here. And I want to show a couple stuff off. But guys, please, 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 please. If you don't have, if you don't feel you have enough males, please make sure you guys get yourself some backups and even a backup on that end. Um, I want to show you guys just something really, really interesting. So you guys are this snake right here. This right here is a red, a redhead spot nose head clown. This male two years ago was offered to me, the exact same male for $4,000. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm not you know, too excited about that project. You know, I kind of passed up on it and I ended up getting another hat. That male didn't end up going for me. So I was like, oh my gosh, my redhead um, uh, project was going down the drain. So I was a like, dude, I called Justin. He's like, oh man, well, you know, now that, you know, he blew that up. He's like, dude, I have a male, the exact same male, but it cost me $10,000. And then guess what? I ended up getting him and he wasn't really too he wasn't really good of a breeder so i had to get another one so it was twenty thousand dollars down the hole and i mean they obviously you know made my money back i was able to sell one of them for the same amount that i ended up paying for him but guys please get yourself some backups if you don't hatch what you have you buy something close to it um with that being said uh let's show off some of the new stuff that's over here so you guys know right here is pretty much my double uh visual re uh, recessive stuff always you know obviously we have the hypo puzzle black pastel Hypo um, Clown Head Desert Ghost, VPI Clown. I'll also show you guys some of the stuff that I'm just talking about it. Leopard DG Pied. I can just pull it right here. DG Clown. Super Orange Dream Fire Pied. Oh man, he's in shed. I'm gonna throw a little water in there for him right there. Right there. And the backup on that project is going to be our leopard orange dream clown pied then right here we have an orange dream yellow belly inchy pied 100 head desert ghost then right here we have our orange dream yellow belly desert ghost head hypo that's one side right there of like double visuals but some of the new stuff we have over here is man i'm hoping they're going to be breeding this uh this next year which i think they will because they're around 600 grams and we're not going to start parenting around like march they have a lot of growing to do still Maybe some in uh, February as well too. All right, so another one that we have right here that I'm excited about is this male right here. And this kind of go with this right here. Go here, turn out the Black Pastel Hypo Clown Head DG was produced with this guy right here. And right here we have a Black Pastel Cypress Krypton Hypo 50% uh, Head Desert Ghost. We did send out some shed tests, so hopefully he proves out Desert Ghost. Man, if he does prove out to be head desert ghost, that's gonna be a big win for us. Obviously, we have our ivory spot nose lucky red stripe head clown. This guy did a lot of work for us. We have our this guy I'm excited about, man. He's gonna be ready to breed. Right here we have a spot nose, cypress, red stripe, yellow belly head clown. You put that guy to some normal clowns, he is going to be killing it, man. Then we have some backup stuff right here. And this right here is our spot nose, yellow belly, inchy, red stripe clown. Look at that guy, man. This guy was actually, um, I thought he was gonna be breeding already, but he was very timid. Like, you know, he had the hemipene, sperm plugs, but he was just not like really aggressive breeder. He only bred like one girl. So that's what I'm telling you guys, it's super, super important to have some backup. And then right here we have a red stripe trident clown. Like, so these guys are about like 600 grams, about, let's see. Little hemipene still. But they still have, what, three to four months to, to get up to size, which I feel pretty confident that they will. Stranger Pompeii. Oh man, this is a very important one right here. You know, let's check out these guys as, uh... 
See? Hopefully, man. I think they'll be good to go. I mean, dude, I don't know where you, when these guys get to a certain size, start putting them in females, man, they start going. Um, we have some super chocolates right there. I just want to show you guys kind of like the new stuff here. This right here is pretty cool. Super Orange Dream, Yellow Belly. What is it? Yellow Belly Inchi Genex Pied, 100% head clown. This guy is a beast. Of course, the backup mail to that project is going to be none other than the ODYB Inchi Chocolate. ODYB Inchi Chocolate Genex Pied Boy, proven breeder. This guy did a lot of work for us. Here's another one that's gonna be for a specific project. But right here we have a yellow belly hypo double hat puzzle desert ghost. See, this is what this this is the size that we need to get these guys, man. And this guy, I said the females are almost you know ready to breed as well. And then we got some other powerhouse stuff here. Red stripe, spot nose, desert ghost, genetic stripe, head clown. Bottom of that right there, we have the black pastel chocolate hypo. Desert Ghost, Heck Clown. What else do we have right here? Blackhead, Black Pastel, Leopard Clown, 100% Head Hypo, 50% Head Desert Ghost. And for that project, I believe the back of males right here in the bottom, which this is just a Blackhead Clown, Head Hypo, 50% Head Desert Ghost. And we have some other stuff down there as well. Now, the Sunset stuff, man, I am loaded, loaded, loaded with the Sunset Clown, Sunset, just a Sunset Clown project. But right here, let me see. Oh, we have a couple other stuff here. You guys already seen these already. The Batman Head Desert Ghost. We have two male Batman Head Sunsets. Sorry, I'm going fast with these guys. I don't want to bore you guys. We have a Sunset Clown. We have one. We got two. And then we have, oh, that's not a Sunset Clown. Where's the other one at? Oh. Here's a sunset head clown. Now, before I leave this project right here, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Then we have a, this guy's already breeding. He's breeding to a lot of our clown pieds. But right here, we have a leopard sunset, 100% head pied. So hopefully this season, uh, this this uh, early 2023, we're gonna have some pied uh, OD leopard double head sunset uh, clowns, which would be pretty cool. But speaking of sunset clowns, still got some more males over here as well. We got this guy. So we have a total of three sunset clown males. We have one proven breeder. We have one right behind him. We have this guy. This guy still has some little, oh snap. This guy's packing. Mm -hmm. We have this guy and then we have an inchy sunset head clown. I definitely wanted to get inchy in a, and the Sunset Clown Project, just Inchi and Yellow Belly are really, really good um, combos that work with um, with uh, the Sunset Clown stuff. But yeah, guys, that's kind of um, all of my uh, mails, and I'm going. We're still going to be moving stuff around. Uh, here's another mail you guys saw in my last vlog, and this right here was the Black Pastel Acid Leopard Desert Ghost Head Hypo. We have some Red Stripe Head Sunset Spot Nose. Double head sunset desert ghost, yellow belly double head sunset desert ghost. I have a lot of cool stuff here. But guys, I'm telling you, man, please, please load yourself up with some males. Guys, don't do the same mistake I did. I have a lot of males right here. I have some coming in here. So the way I'm gonna do, the way I'm gonna work this is I'm gonna put all my important males on this side right here. Um, the reason why I just have all the sunset stuff on one side because I have a lot of sunset stuff and I'm very OCD. So a lot of these sunsets are gonna go on this end. And then everything else here on these three rows is kind of kind of kind of be like my backup mail. It's like, well, man, if this one didn't go. I have this one to work with it. And I do want to have up to three options because if one male is just picky with some females, um, the other male needed to back up. And at the end, if those two males ain't breeding, I'm not going to uh, I want to have a male that at least I'm not going to be, you know, too upset putting it with that female just so that I can make sure that, you know, at least I get some clutches, man, because I'd rather have a clutch than no clutches at all, especially on a certain project. Again, we still have to go with odds, but guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, next vlog that we're doing, we're gonna be talking about that new redhead combo that I made that I put up on Instagram that's been blowing everyone's minds. As always, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.